That's right, Megan. The Mississippi National Guard always prepared to respond to severe weather situations that we often see here in our state. They had a much needed boost to civilian first responders in communities that could be affected by whatever Sally brings our way. Engineers are usually the first boots on the ground from the Mississippi National Guard after a severe weather event. Lieutenant Colonel Ken Cager is the commander of the 168th Engineer Brigade. I have uh, three teams from the 223rd Engineer Battalion, which is located, at, which is based out of West Point, Mississippi. And I have three uh, composite teams uh, from the 890th Engineer um, Battalion based out of Gulfport, Mississippi. His teams are pre-positioned at Camp Shelby in Hattiesburg and at Mississippi National Guard Readiness Centers in Picayune, Pascagoula, and Gulfport. Their role in the response to Sally will be to provide local first responders with additional resources to protect citizens and property and fulfill natural disaster relief and response missions as directed by Governor Tate Reeves. Both battalions under Colonel Cager's command have high water rescue teams that have undergone drills to simulate hurricane response. Would it be what category the hurricane may be, what direction the, it may you know, impact our state, and, and, and we... We try to think through uh, several different scenarios. Colonel Cager says they train to stay ready for an immediate response. As members of the Guard, they're serving fellow citizens, sometimes in the same communities that they live in. It's not just a mission for us, but we stand ready to support, you know, fellow Mississippians in, in the case of uh, a national, you know, this type of national emergency. Now the troops deployed in response to Hurricane Sally, again trained to protect life, preserve property, and ensure people's safety and their security. Leaders say they will follow federal and state COVID-19 safety guidelines as they lend a critical helping hand. Troy Johnson, 16 WAPT News at 10.